Now back in charge in Afghanistan, Taliban leaders are trying to present a sense of normalcy. Here, heavily armed Taliban fighters and their families walked around the zoo in Kabul on a recent outing. Taliban leaders have asked to address the UN General Assembly this week and named spokesman Suhail Shaheen as their representative. The UN said a committee will rule on the request, but that is not likely to happen during the current session. In a recent interview with VOA, Shaheen said the Taliban and the U.S. were adversaries during the war, as he put it, when our country was occupied, but said things could be different now. Now we are in a new chapter. We want to, to turn for a new page. In that page, it depends on the U.S., whether they are you know, coming for work to help in the construction of Afghanistan, in the eradication of poverty in the country, uh, and uh, uh, help us in other sectors like education sector, uh, infrastructure, and uh, so uh, also uh, they, if they want uh, to come and invest in the country. So they are welcome. Afghanistan's current ambassador so to the UN, Ghulam Izakai, was appointed in July by the former government of President Ashraf Ghani and continues to speak out on social media against the Taliban. U.S. President Joe Biden spoke of a new chapter in Afghanistan in Tuesday's address to the UN General Assembly. We've ended 20 years of conflict in Afghanistan. And as we close this period of relentless war, we're opening a new era of relentless diplomacy, of using the power of our development aid to invest in new ways of lifting people up around the world, of renewing and defending democracy. The emir of Qatar warned against isolating the Taliban. We stress the importance of the international community continuing to provide support to Afghanistan at this critical stage and to separate humanitarian aid from political differences. We also stress the importance of continuing dialogue with the Taliban because boycotting only leads to polarization and reactions. As for dialogue, it can bring positive results. In a U.N. forum on Afghan women, the executive director of UNICEF had a message for Taliban leaders. It is critically important that girls and boys in Afghanistan have an equal chance to learn and to develop the skills they need to thrive. We are deeply worried that many girls may not be allowed back into school. The Taliban have said a religious scholar will decide on how girls will be able to attend school under Islamic law, known as Sharia, as soon as possible. The Taliban ordered boys back to school this week, but made no mention of allowing girls or women teachers to return to class. Cindy Sane, VOA News.